you hear that crackling? It's too much feedback into the transformers. I'm still, now that I have a collector installed again and I'm allowing that collector to bridge this common positive with that common negative, it's causing feedback that's causing the case itself to arc over to the uh, secondary terminals. So I'm getting little flashes of white arcs inside just that little edge that's right there. Let's see. So that's got a little gap right there. It's arcing across that to the secondary terminals. Secondary terminals don't have a common ground on them. They're floating. Everything is floating. Floating is best. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. So this is the top. Feeds one side of the full wave volt by Drupler. This lead here that's coming down and over the top. Let's see if I get it here. Back around. There you go. That lead that's gapped down here to the secondary of this is the common negative gap. And it's set up so it'll constantly discharge. Uh, and because I've decreased the gap here and decreased the gap there, I'm going to be pulling a common discharge that's constantly going on here. This is a 3000 volt GDT now. I replaced that other one that was a 470 volt GDT. This is a 3000 volt and I put one of those blue caps in parallel with the gap. So I'll show you what's going on here in just a second. In fact, let me kind of... The anomaly here is that with it actually discharging and the power back flowing, the input goes down while it's being loaded and discharging through the GDT. It draws two amps to two and a half amps at mains, voltage 120 volts. While it's arcing and discharging, it's drawn about an amp and a half. Um, so. So it's like a half inch. And that also is about a half inch. Hold on. What? All right, give me. Come here. In the middle of making the video, unfortunately, it's not happening. Love you. Give me a home at closing. See you at 10. Bye. Alright, so it's constant discharging between top and bottom. Both primary gaps, both primary gaps are firing. Primary positive. Primary negative. Secondary. And this is actually off the primary, since there's no secondary on the top. But it's a 3000 volt GDT with one of the little blue caps in parallel. And what's happened actually is I can see one of my diodes is burned out, burning out. Arcing. That's arcing internal to the high voltage diode. That's a 15,000 volt diode.
that GDT is the 3,000 voltage, 3,000 volt job. So here's here's part of the problem with the feedback, right? Listen to this. That's the result of backflow into the transformer, so I'm going to have to put a Terry filter or something in between the 10,000 volt leads and the full wave volt output so that it prevents that backup arcing over. Because that's inside these capacitors. The capacitors are what's making that crackling sound. That's probably why I bought metal ones instead. And the metal ones don't seem to be affected like that, but the plastic ones do that. Plastic ones on the top set, so I'll probably need to just order four more 20 UF caps. Uh, anyway, that'll prevent some of the arcing over as well. Might help to put capacity directly over the output terminals so that it's swinging a specific capacity at the 10,000 volts there as well. Put that on all four, and that capacity would absorb any additional backflow into the secondary, right? That would prevent it from producing an arc over because it's got somewhere to go. Just the whole point of capacity. It turns it more into current and less voltage. So that might be a good thing overall, actually. So let me flip it back on real quick, and I'll show you the input while it's actually discharging that 3,000 volt GDT. So this would actually be feeding whatever the step-down output is that I'm going to want to draw this off as. Right, so let's see. We'd want that to be a low resistance so that it would ring because it's not firing very frequently. A couple, it's maybe a tenth of a hertz or maybe a hertz here and there. Depends how short you make the gap. But let me show you the input now that it's actually loading and it's creating that uh, gain that's going back into the transformers and causing that crackling in the caps after everything gets shut off. up to two amps there. I wonder if I lost the diode completely. Here, listen to the crackle. crackling. Interesting stuff, huh? So now I just have to figure out at 3,000 volts at what kind of amp is being discharged in that. 
and that'll be kind of the output, at least off half a side. 